Oh, I lost the Never Engine. And the battery died. I'm so tired of this remote. Hey guys, Dale here and Mark here with R5. So we've been using this Pico remote for quite a while now, and it's great in the fact that it has an Android-based GUI interface, so Mark has always been able to look at the picture before he was able to read and see which engine it was, and he could scroll between them. I could set the icons for the bell and the whistle and everything like that, and it was super easy for him. Uh, he's been using this remote since he was about three years old. Good news is, Mark here can read now. So it makes it easy to go with something that's a little more reliable, a little bit more of the community standard because we keep having lots of issues with this guy deleting engines randomly uh, from the menu. It, the battery dies very quickly, pretty much have to keep it plugged in all the time now. And it does this little thing where it kind of, it kind of catches right there when you go to throttle zero, you actually have to go up on the throttle to get it to stop making this weird buzzing sound. And so what do we have, Mark? A new remote. That's right, we got the NCE Power Cab. I love the NCE products and their system. However, like I said, Mark wasn't able to read at the time, and so I actually gave my old system to my dad, but now we're ready to go back, and so we've got another one, and we're gonna install it and get this train track going. Let's go ahead and open it up, bud, and see what it's got in here. You put it on, I put it on. All right. The cab itself. So this is what you're going to get to know really well here, Mark. There's even like a stop button if it's like going to crash. Yep, emergency stop. Okay, so we've got the PCP panel here. This is what I'll mount on the board and uh, we'll plug the controller into. Complete system manual. Since you know how to read, you get a whole book here of instructions on how to use your new power cap, bud. What do you think? <laughs> think you can handle that? Yeah. You excited? All right. This warp is 100 to 240 volts. So 50 or 60 megahertz. So this is good for if any of you guys are live overseas, uh, you can still use this. All you need is the actual plug uh, adapter. You don't need to plug into a transformer, which is really nice. So I've been looking around trying to figure out the best place to install this. This one is not wireless, so I have to think about the core and the reach around the table for that until I can put in a second panel with another remote or get a wireless remote right below there on the interface. It's right next to the turntable, uh, the train yard and everything. So my thought is that it will get good reach from here uh, be able to come into the center section here uh, where the train yard is and the switch panel for the yard. I'll be able to turn and cover you know, most of the city area as well. And then eventually I can put another panel maybe over here on the, the back side. All right, I got the panel installed here. This isn't too bad. Since I'm overseas, I had to store most of my power tools back in the state, so I ended up having to do a lot by hand and using the Dremel. Now I'm gonna do the wiring, get that all hooked up. As I mentioned, the nice thing about this system is the wall ward it comes with. All I need to do is use a plug adapter and I can plug it into the outlets here. All right, here we go. I installed this upside down so the light would be more easy to see when it's on. Looks like we got a red light and the cab is powered up. Now I'm going to get it going. Got a 5353, the Union Pacific there, headlight. Yep, there we go. All right. Let's try this Union Pacific here, the uh, Daylight Heritage Scheme. Go uh, 1996. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, there's the Santa Fe. Let's kill the noise on that one. So there it is, guys. It works. Uh, hopefully, Mark will get the hang of this pretty soon. I think he'll find this a lot easier. It'll be really easy for him to put in the loco. I think the hardest thing for him to learn will be things like uh, remember what all the functions are because on the Pico system, I could use little icons for the bell or the brakes. But this, he'll just have to remember what those CV numbers are assigned to. Also, you will be limited by the range of this cord. The cord's not as long as I thought it would be, so he definitely won't be able to use it on the other side of the city. I can come all the way over here to, to the end of the tail, to where the train yard is. So I think he'll still be able to hold the remote and flip a switch if he needs to over on the left-hand side. Now, which one are you going to change to? So how do you uh, change it? What are you going to do? Just push the logo and then the number you want. I just type it in. It's like right now my daylight big southern pacific is 6051. Okay. And I click enter. Okay. And then and I I just do that and then I have my train. Nice. That's pretty much it guys. Once again, this is the NCE Power Cab. Great product. I love these NCE cabs. Hopefully Mark will too. See you next time.